What is up, guys? We are back with our third podcast uh, with Soulcraft. Uh, you know, me and my boy WT. This is how we do it. We're a pair, partners in crime. This is my guy. Uh, listen, uh, there's been so much that's been added to this since the last time we talked. You know, WT was on vacation last week, um, and the things move so fast in uh, the Soulcraft community. It's it's unbelievable. If you miss a day, you miss a lot. They're always moving. They're always trying to make the game better, and I'm super excited to see and super bullish on this project because. Because of just everything they're putting in. And just when you think, you know, uh, things can't get better, they are. And they're always trying to add more utility to the dwarves and everything. And we're going to break all this down. We have two giveaways to do in this video. We have lots to talk about, guys. Lots and lots. So pay attention. Okay. First things before anything, um, I do want to see how you were doing, WT. But I want to say before anything, I want to say congratulations. Um, you are officially the second ambassador for... Soulcraft. So you're looking at the new champion, the new ambassador, WT, my friend. Uh, tell us about it. How are you doing? Tell us about you. Congratulations. I want to say on behalf, on behalf of everybody, uh, you, you deserve it, man. Everything you do in the space, everything you do just in general for the community and everything, uh, you deserve it big, big, big time. So anyway, congratulations, my friend, and uh, tell us about it. How was your week? Tell us about being the ambassador. Let the people know uh, what's going on. Uh, well, we got a lot to get through today, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'm very appreciative of the opportunity to be ambassador for Soulcraft. I've learned a lot about them in the past month, and I'm getting more and more bullish. They continue to pack an extreme amount of value into this project, so I'm very happy to be officially part of this project. I I've been kind of a part of it for a little bit now. Uh, as far as past week, uh, thanks for everybody kind of just bearing with uh, the lack of content and stuff. Uh, I try to keep up with as much as possible, but real life, you got to do what you got to do in real life. So it was a good, good week off. Uh, back at it, ready to start grinding some more. And we've got a ton to cover today. <laughs> tons. How we're going to fit it all in. Tons, tons and tons and tons. Uh, that is even an understatement right there. Like I said, we did a podcast, I think it was on the 20th of March, so almost like a month ago or a bit, I don't know how long, a few weeks ago, whatever it was, a couple weeks, but it's been a, it's been a minute and, uh, and, and, uh, we have a lot to talk about. So, uh, first I want to say again, congratulations on the ambassadorship. You, it's so deserved. I mean, without question, you're, you're such a great asset to any community. Uh, well-deserved. Another thing I want to talk about, we have a name. Guys, we have a name. We've been trying to figure out a name for, oh, I don't even know, uh, since the beginning. Since the beginning of it all. Over a month. Yeah. It's, it's been like over a month, man, we, at least. We were trying to do like, you know, help us with with a, with, a, with a name and all this stuff. And it just, it was tough. Okay. So we wanted to keep it more um, kind of like, you know, where we're not locking ourselves into one group. We wanted to make it kind of broad across. So we went with, you want to say it? Drum roll. What is it? What is it? You can announce it. What is it? Non- fungible cast NFC. there you go non-fungible cast nfc uh i think it's a, a it's a good it's kind of you know neutral to everywhere it's neutral i think it's a really i think it's a, a great name nfc we're gonna get some logos and stuff put out there that's all coming soon uh so there you go you heard it here first non-fungible cast nfc the official name of the podcast okay i want to talk about uh, a lot of like i said a lot of things first i want to bring up the new uh, well, at least I guess the new information has been brought to us. David Fried, I believe is how you say his name. This blows my mind. Okay, so um, he joined Soulcraft. This guy has done work. He's been uh, crafting design and, and narrative for games for like 23 plus years. This guy is 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 the real deal. Okay, he's worked on games like Warcraft, uh, Warcraft Three, World of Warcraft, uh, Odd World, Stranger's Wrath, Wasteland Three, tons of games, many more. This is the real deal. Tw over 23 years experience, like I said, World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, and he's coming into this project. Um, tell me your thoughts on this guy. This is this is like a big deal. This is like the real deal. This is this is not some, you know, this is like the real deal. So what are your thoughts on, I, I believe it's David Fried. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but uh, what are your thoughts on him coming in? Dude, this is huge. Just absolutely huge. Mm -hmm. Uh you're bringing in a name associated with Blizzard, Warcraft, and several other big names, and it really just puts a, a, a stamp, a seal of approval on your project, in addition to all the other things that you've already been doing, all the value that they've been packing in constantly, over and over again, specifically into these dwarves. And then you yeah. back it up with a big name like this and the experience and the expertise that he brings into it. He's going to be able to probably see things maybe 
on a much larger scale from where he's been while they're 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 very macro or micro focused and he's maybe i got that macro focus to come in and say hey maybe you could do this or maybe you could do this or right. i like this or i don't like this and it's going to give them a whole nother perspective and it's just it's extremely bullish i uh, man i just want to scream right now but i'm, I'm not going to because i'm not going to blow everybody's ears out so <laughs> well like I, this one of my favorite sayings is you can't buy experience you cannot buy experience doesn't matter how much money you have you cannot buy experience this guy has 23 plus years of it and i mean like you say you can't buy that kind of experience he's been through it he knows what it's like he's he has done the work he's put in some time he knows what's going on so i am extremely bullish on this guy uh, and the project, if you weren't bullish on this project before, this is the kind of stuff that should literally tip you over the edge and be like, okay, wow, this is, this is big news. This is legit news. I'm not, I'm not even joking. After I put that tweet out, I had three messages on my discord come in. Hey, what's this? And right. where do you get these dwarves at immediately? And they were asking me all kinds of questions. Uh, huge, just right. huge, massive news. <laughs> yeah. And that's, and that's the thing too. It's like, you know, I do stream on, on Twitch is actually, which reminds me guys, uh, from this video, I want to bring this up tomorrow night, <clears throat> excuse me, tomorrow night on my Twitch channel. Uh, we are doing a dwarf, uh, we're doing giveaways. We're doing giveaways, Solonite giveaways, um, for anybody that comes into the stream, we're gonna start at 9 PM Eastern and, uh, we're going to be doing giveaways guys. So make sure you come into the stream and, uh, and, and make sure you play. We're going to do marbles races and stuff. It's going to be like random stuff. So you don't have to like be like the super skilled player. It's going to be random. We'll explain it when you get there, guys. So, yes, uh, we're going to be doing giveaways tomorrow before I forget. We have two giveaways for this video as well. Um, do you want to mention those before we get deeper in the video? Yeah, we got uh, two loot crates. Mm -hmm. Five, 500 soul. Or not soul. Oh, gosh. Sorry. So <laughs> Push that. 500 solonite. S-L-N. 500 solonite in each crate. So two for a total of 1,000 divided by two. And we're gonna. You want to? How are we doing that? A retweet or something like that? Yeah, let's do. Let's do two. Let's do it two different ways. One, we'll uh, put out a tweet. Uh, where we're gonna we're gonna tweet out this video, and we'll write it in the in the in the description. I'll write it in the description. You got to retweet the, the 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 tweet and tag a few friends. Um, we'll do it like that. We'll do that, and we'll do a, a giveaway that way. And maybe the second one, we'll do like a, a you tell like a funny dwarf joke in this video on the comments below. What do you think? Drop your funniest dwarf joke in the comments below. And uh, the funniest one will get uh, will get uh, 500 solonite. And uh, the, for the tweet, we'll do a random giveaway in the tweet. Same thing, 500 solonite. How about that? Two giveaways. Sound good? Yep. You'll need a uh, Solana based wallet of some sort. I use Phantom Wallet. It's very easy, very cool to use. So get one of those. And uh, if you qualify, we'll we'll uh, pass that along to the Dwarf King, and he'll hook you up with uh, a loot crate of solonite. You got it. Awesome. So like I was speaking about the Twitch, uh, the Twitch stream, what I was getting at with that was, um, yeah, I mentioned in my Twitch stream as well. And, and <clears throat> people were just like blown away by it. Once they hear like, whoa, this guy's the real deal. Tell me more. And, and the same thing, you know, more people want to get onboarded in and just stuff like that goes a long, 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 long way. Now you were talking before about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you were talking about before about, um, uh, utility on these dwarves that keep bringing more utility, more utility. Dude, the staking, staking is live now. We haven't even talked since staking was live. Um, you know, we were talking about how, you know, the different skins give you different um, staking power or whatever it is. Um, and uh, yeah, so armor determines that. Um, there's an infographic out there you can check out um, that, that shows you all the different ones, what armor does what. Uh, it's amazing. And again, like we're talking about, it's, it's the utility of these dwarves. So you're buying these dwarves and next thing you know, they're like, oh, and by the way, it can do this. Oh, and it can, these are extra things that we didn't even know about. Um, so tell me about the staking. What are your thoughts on it? And what's, what's going to, what's the future of it? Absolutely fantastic. Like I said already, and I'm going to keep saying it, they just keep packing value into these dwarves over and over again. It's the common theme with these guys. And it's, it's super bullish for the project because they're really, if, if you got in on these dwarves, you got to be loving this. Cause I think, I think the last metric I've seen, like almost 90% of the dwarves out there are state, which means they are not being listed. They're not being sold. People are parking them and they're collecting SLN because they know they're going to be able to buy things with this SLN, or they could choose to down the road, sell it. It's up to them. It's in their holders hands. And with the stuff coming, it's that common theme of packing value into those dwarves. And I absolutely love it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. And it's more and more. They, they don't stop. They, they do not stop working on this. There's, like I say, more and more utility all the time. <clears throat> all right, excuse me. So we got, um, next thing is they did a community vote. What was coming next? Uh, there was a few options. There was like female dwarves, uh, male elves, female, el female elves, uh, female elves won by <clears throat> a landslide. And, um, 
So now we're going to have female elves coming in. Um, I saw the art of them making it. They're already looking amazing. You know, you saw the little uh, clip they sent there, the little leak. Already looking awesome. Here's the thing. Now, again, we're talking about utility of the dwarves. So the only way, the only way you're going to be able to buy these is by using Solonite. That's it. So by farm, by getting dwarves, by staking dwarves, you're farming Solonite. Now, if you want a female uh, elf, guess what? Guess how you're going to have to buy them? You got to use Solonite. So the dwarves are going to go and put it back into the game and you're going to be able to buy these female elves, which in turn, there's only 1,500 of them, I believe. 1,500 of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, and yeah, you have to have a dwarf and you have to have, or you have to have Solonite to buy these. I love that. Again, they're adding utility to these NFTs that you own, which is just, that's what you want. That's what you want in a project. Uh, you buy into the project, you get some of their assets or whatever, and then it's like, okay, they're giving you stuff back. And then with that, you're buying more in. You can get more deeper into this into this project. And I think that's amazing. What are your thoughts on the female elves and, and the whole way they're doing this, the whole way they're bringing about it with the, with the Solonite and the farming and the staking and all that? What are your thoughts on that? Well, first, I knew female elves were going to win, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, they're females. And female dwarves typically just aren't as pretty on the eyes for some reason. <laughs> but I'll leave it at that. I don't want to be, uh, you know... I don't want to be ugly bashing anybody. So, uh, but 1500 elves, female only. So now we got even lower scarcity on this class. We don't know exactly what they're going to do yet. I'm sure they're going to do something important in the game. And not only are they packing in value with the Solonite only purchasing, as a dwarf holder, which most of us are, you're going to be whitelisted at first crack at these and i'll be shocked i'll be shocked if all 1500 don't go before they even get a chance to hit the public and it's just like we said packing more value i agree i i I don't i I would be very surprised if these hit the public uh market i mean the people there's there's so many people that believe in this and and it's just the community is absolutely amazing it's been amazing uh people have been staking their dwarves you know you have a bunch i have a bunch a bunch of people have a bunch that solonite sitting there and guess what when you add something new to the to the to the table it's like well i want that too and everyone's gonna want them and i'd be very surprised if uh i agree if it goes to uh, the public and like I say only 1500 so exactly even scarcer okay I want to talk about the Solania land sale uh, this we we're all super excited about this okay we're all super mm-hmm. super 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 excited about this so there's only gonna be 800 plots of land which is again scarce not very many of them uh you had to have three dwarfs in your wallet at first uh, you know uh every three dwarfs got you whitelisted for one you need different wallets they changed that said no you can have one wallet which is great um so for every three dwarfs you get whitelisted for a plot of land um we don't know exactly how much it's going to be maybe roughly two and a half i'm guessing somewhere around there something like that we don't know exactly and uh, only sold the dwarf owners not public again which is great so if again utility we keep we're, you're going to hear that word so much in this yep. podcast utility 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 uh, and that's what you're looking for in these projects again it's like you get these dwarves they're gonna keep keep giving back to you and 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 i love that about it so again utility by having these dwarves you have white lit you're white listed for the land sale and uh and I, for sure i'll be grabbing some i mean that that without a doubt i'm gonna be grabbing them. now some things i want to talk about with the land uh, you can mine up to 10 dwarfs per, um, per land. Uh, the rarer the land, the more, um, uh, the more you can yield from it. Okay. So there's more stuff you can, you can pull from it. Now there's different types and, uh, and this is going to take a minute. So just, just try to follow for a bit because you know, there's, there's like different rarities from common to mythical, but then there's also different like biomes. Okay. From, uh, it goes from, so the lowest end is forest, then desert then ice and then volcano okay so that's separate from common to mythical so you could literally have a common forest a mythical forest or a common uh whatever a volcano uh, uh uncommon volcano there's different so there's the rarity and then the different type of biome okay so there's two different two different things which i think is super cool uh again i, I love it i love it so i want to before i get even further ahead because i got a lot i could I mean we could talk about this forever what um what are the things about the, the land tell me tell us more about the land what do you know about it what do you think about it what are you hoping from it uh break it down yeah, sale, the sale of land is going to be roughly two and a half soul, somewhere around there. It's not exact yet, but that's the parameters as I was given that I, we can talk about. And yeah, I, I expected uh, common through mythical, and that would de- determine the density of solenite that you can mine. But no, they're going to 
put even another metric. There's metrics everywhere. It's, it's, it's going to be absolutely crazy to what you end up with and the strategies involved that all these different variations have. Uh, yeah, if you have a mythical forest, it's going to produce a lot, but maybe you have a desert volcanic, which might be almost just as good. We don't know exactly yet, but those factors are going to come into play and it's all random chance. So you get that excitement yep. when you get your lands and you reveal, what did you get? And will we see a mythic volcanic is what I'm wondering. Cause if, that, if that's the case, yeah. Oh, can you imagine the price on that? It's yeah. going to be, phew. that's it. That's what we're all looking for right there for <laughs> sure. Yeah. The land, the land is going to be incredible, man. That's what we're all hoping for. And you know, like, like when I, you know, when I started, I said, Oh, I'm just going to get a few dwarves, get a plot of land. And then next thing you know, it's like, you just can't stop grabbing them. No. <laughs> it's like, you know, you just have a bunch of dwarves and you're like, Oh, okay. Well now, I, okay. Okay. And you just can't stop because, <laughs> Hey, listen, it's for me, I, 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 it's a good problem to have. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, I, I was like, oh, I'll get a few. And the next thing you know, I have a few more and then, you know, a few more. And a few they more. got me. They yeah. got me the other yeah. day. Like I, I originally wanted six. Yeah. 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 That's what I you have, said. I have above six. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not even going to look at the site anymore. Well, I was on vacation. I'm driving back and I, I'm looking on my phone. I'm like, oh, there's this mutation thing. And I was like, well, I have this one, a female. I need a male. I started looking around and trying to figure out how to get a male. I was like, oh, so now, now I went and got two more mutation males, and uh, yeah, I, I have we, a problem. We need to, we need to connect our families. We got to get your male to marry my female. <laughs> we can have babies. You know, we can, we can merge our family, my friend. I got two females. I got, a, I got a female uh, mutation one, female mutation two, but I have no males. So, uh, you know, uh, I want to keep them busy. I want to keep them busy. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> So any of you guys out there, if you have some studs, hit me up, man. All right. So uh, speaking of like uh, pigs and stuff, there's going to be the airdrop, I think, by, you know, within a couple weeks or something like that, they're going to do the airdrop. Mm -hmm. um, so basically how it works is, you know, you have your dwarf picture and there's going to be a picture of your of your your pig. It's always in his arm. And uh, so you're going to airdrop that, that pig. But here's the thing, okay? Um, it's going to be the same NFT. The NFT is going to be the same pig you see in your in your picture, but... These are going to have random stats on them, okay? So now they're adding even to the pigs. So uh, each pig is going to have a metabolism, speed, and stamina, okay? That's the three stats it's going to have. So you can compare those and do whatever. And I know they want to have all these – people are talking about pig races and this and that and breeding. And there's just – like when I say the word – that's the word of the day is utility. That's the word of the day is utility. Uh, even the pigs are going to have utility. There's breeding. Not only that – now, if you everyone pay attention to your to your your pigs and stuff, because even though you have like say a common pig, if it has like gold tusks, like I have one that has a uh, Solana color, Solana fur, pink fur, whatever it is. There's like rare traits in these in these in these pigs. Pay attention to those because when you breed those, those can carry over. So if you have like two gold tusks breeding, there's a really high chance that the the the, the kid, the baby, whatever you want to call it, uh, has gold tusks, right? So you want it now. You're looking at when you're breeding. Now you're also looking at the the attributes that these pigs have, so they can carry over to the to the 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 thing, whatever the kid, the ba the baby, whatever you want to call it. You know, so um. Piglet. Which is huge, man. Which is again utility, man. I can't. Dude, that's the word of the day. I, we got to do a count. How many times I said utility? If you're following along, uh, mark down every time we say the word utility in here, man. It's gonna be uh, well. You, uh, you know. Did you notice the uh, pun? Since you're saying utility over and over again with the pigs, the fertility. Oh, fertility. Yo, if you're at, if you're watching this point, type fertility in the chat. I want to hear it. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah, I, I'm curious what fertility does. If that means the success success of the attack, I'm assuming mm -hmm. attack power is the damage it can do, and there's a percentage base in that depending on what pig you have. Again, more metrics you got to watch for. Yeah. And then fertility, I, is that the the success of the attack? That's kind of what I'm wondering. And, right. And then they also got the the mutation factor, which I just talked about briefly, where you can have a chance to whatever you line up with, uh, a mutation one with a mutation one, a mutation two with a mutation two, or a mutation one with a mutation two, and you can either get a wolf, ram, or what I'm going for is the dragon, which is gonna be tough to get. crazy, man. Like, imagine having a dragon out there. Come on, man. I need me a dragon. Daddy needs a dragon. 
What's it gonna do? I know. I mean, we don't even know. It's I just, mean, it could be something crazy. Like you have to have a dragon to yep. and a dwarf to do. Uh, you don't even know with these guys. They could do anything. They and do this anything. is only the beginning, man. Like that, right. and like and like we say, these the, you know the the team is always pumping out content, always pumping out you know news, always pumping out announcements, and we're just at the beginning. Like it's there's so much more. I'm sure is down the road that is gonna blow our mind, just like it has been the last mm-hmm. three four weeks, whatever it's been. Um, I'm always constantly like, what can they do next? Like, what else can they, like, they're just, they're, they're so generous, you know, and they're always adding more to the, to the table. And I, I love that. So that is the pig, uh, airdrops, which like we said, has been about a couple of weeks or so, you know, we don't have really a rough date, but, um, kind of thing, which is, which is going to be awesome. Uh, the breeding, which is going to be awesome. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is the mining picks. So if you notice on your dwarf, there's like those handles and the, the, the pick heads and, you know, and, and there's got to be a, you know, this is a mining, this is a game about mining Solonite. So why wouldn't the the pickaxe, you know, have some utility? And here we go. And sure enough, it does. So um, the mining pickaxe increased mining power depending on the pick you have. Uh, the Sauron crown uh, is going to give you two and a half. So I talked about the Sauron crown last time. Um, and I said, you know, it's very rare. People want it. Uh, I could have, you know, I was looking at one and I was going to buy it. Someone else picked it up. I, I don't remember. I think it was... Um, who was it? You're going to know. I, I can't remember. I, I mean, I, I talked to them all the time in the DMs, but they picked it up and they said, hey, they were so kind. And they're like, listen, they picked it up for two soul and they said, I'll sell it to you for two soul. And I said, listen, I appreciate that because that's, you know, very nice. Nobody has to do that. But I said, listen, wow. you sniped it. You got it. You keep it. I lose. Mm-hmm. That's fun. That's the way this works. You know, it's not that I lose, but you found it. You bought it. You got it. It's yours period. And that was really nice of them to offer it to me for two soul. They didn't have to do that, but I said, Nope, it's yours. You take it, you keep it. You earned it. You deserve it. You found it. You know, that's you. So uh, first of all, thank you for that, but, uh, keep your stuff. Um, so yeah, so the, uh, the Sauron helm is, uh, two and a half times. Um, what else was there? God's, Oh, the God skin gives you a thousand percent hit points. That's a, so you're going to be able to just sit there, you know, cause that's, cause that's another thing we've talked about before is you're going to get attacked by orcs and stuff, and then you're going to be defending. And that's how, you know, you got to keep uh, active on the game because if you just, you know, uh, farm it and forget it, the orcs are going to come in and kind of, you know, take over and stuff. So you got to like defend it and stuff, which is going to be sick. Um, so that's huge. The God skin is huge, huge, huge. I obviously don't have one of those. I think those are very, 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 very rare. Um, but yeah, thoughts on that. Thoughts on the Sauron crown. Uh, thoughts on the God skin. Thoughts on all that stuff. The mining more picks. metrics, more <clears throat> metrics, yep. more utility. Uh, they, this is the another infographic they did with this. It explains it in great detail what the percentages are, just like the pigs, just like the staking. I love these infographics, by the way, too. Very clear, very very to the point, and easy to read for anybody. Uh, the God skin. Uh, the curtains match the drapes. If you if you allow me to say. <laughs> A god title with a thousand percent hit point bonus. It matches. It makes sense. And these are going to be sought after. Uh, they were sought after before. They're even higher in demand now. Uh, you got to watch your picks so you can get a better mining percentage. Yeah, just more metrics, more value. And there's really not much more to say about it, honestly. I never thought I would hear you say the curtains match the drapes. I, you know, I've known you for a while now. I never would have thought. I, I, I love it. I love it. This is what I love about you. You know. <laughs> He said, yo, man, curtains match drapes. That, that's great. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so that's another thing I want to mention too. It's like even so, like even if you have like a common dwarf or whatever, it, you know, and people are like, oh, we're just going to, you know, drop it or whatever, or get rid of it. You got to, again, we got to look at the tusks. You got to look at the, the pig. You got to look at all the stuff because there's more to it. Now, one thing I'm curious about is how are, like if, like say we breed a pig together, okay? Who gets the pig? Is it you? Is it me? How does that work? That's one thing I want to figure out. How's that going to work? Probably, oh. probably the female, right? I'm assuming. Well, I thought that was, well, that was, uh, I'm in this other project called Chicken Derby and uh, they had the same issue. And originally they were going to do it with the female. Well, it drove the prices way up on the female. And, right. but then they came up to something with the contract. <laughs> and I don't know if Solana can do this or not. This was on the Ethereum based network, or actually it was on Matic actually, but whatever, layer two, uh, I'm getting off task here. If they can set up the contract to where, they can decide in the contract who gets that. And that's that's where your your nerds, and I say nerds is a good thing because nerds rule the world and you know it. So uh, they can set that contract up to decide who's going to pay the cost, possibly mm-hmm. if there is a cost involved, we don't know. And that could be an option. Or they could say, hey, 
female pig holders get to keep the pig and that will spike that price up on female pigs i guarantee right. it right and that's the thing so like we don't know we don't know um okay so another thing i want to talk about we did uh there's a, a, a gone an ongoing contest which is amazing every two days and i love this see again they always yeah, give yeah. back and they're always helping out the community and they're always trust you man uh if there's any community that's been really generous and really giving and really helpful and really you know it's these guys man um Every, <clears throat> sorry, every second day, okay, um, they're doing at 8 p.m. Eastern, they're going to be drawing a random dwarf number live, and if you're staking that dwarf, you win a prize from one to three, one of three loot crates, okay? So there's either 500 uh, solenite in it, 1,000 solenite in it, or 1,500 solenite in it, correct? And, right. um, and that's it. So all you got to do is have the dwarf, stake it, and forget it. That's it. Mind your business. Leave it alone. If your number gets pulled, guess what? You're winning free 500, 1,000, or 1,500 solenite for nothing, just for staking your dwarf. Again, utility. I'm going to say that word 100 more times. Utility, 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 utility. And I think that's amazing. I love that the fact that they're doing that. Um, and again, for, they don't have to do that. Like They don't have to do this. It's just something extra that's running. And by the way, guys, for staking this, uh, here you go. And like you said before, the percentage of dwarves that are staked is like, amazing it's it's they're basically everyone's staking them and there's you know it's uh it's been it's been amazing it's been absolutely amazing so yeah thoughts on the giveaway uh yeah they, they've done several contests already <laughs> which has been amazing and this is by far my favorite one so far i'm already getting solenite at a, at a, a crazy amount right now because yep. i i picked uh I, I used a little strategy which is a big part of this game and i did get lucky with some of my uh armors that i got and then i went and sought out uh a couple suits and i went for some high staking returns and it's 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 paying off nicely for me so far and in addition to that because i'm staking they're gonna give me this chance in a lottery that's kind of fun because every couple days it's like oh did i get it? and then i gotta go back through my dwarves and see if i got the number and if i did boom i get some more solenite and it's hacking yeah. more value into these dwarves again yeah the 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 i love i love what they're doing with solonite i love that they're giving it so much utility and and so you're staking it you're getting it you can buy these female um elves uh you're gonna be able to guess i mean in the future they're talking about armor and stuff maybe you can get it with that um there's just so much uh going on with it and i, and I love it and like you said like you know i uh, we originally said we we're gonna get a few dwarves and next thing you know here we are right so uh we are staking our dwarves all of them we're getting solonite back and we're gonna put it back into the game when the elves come out and all that stuff uh, as well there's another giveaway um there's a raffle for a golden pig uh it ends on april 7th which is a few days from now i believe right i think it's on thursday is that thursday so that's on thursday yeah. uh and today is uh monday so uh yeah so you can head over to the raffle site and get your tickets uh each ticket will be exclusively for a hundred solonite so again utility for solonite so you're staking you're getting solonite you can buy the raffle ticket uh, you buy the ticket and, uh, you know, you have a chance to win. It's just like any other raffle. You know, you buy a ticket, mm -hmm. you have a chance to win. Um, I, again, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, a gold pig, gold pig, <laughs> which is like, you know, the rarest thing you can get. Um, or one of them anyway, I believe yeah. Uh, yeah. in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, minting. Yeah. If you minted the golden pig, you automatically want a plot of land, which is huge, huge. Um, are you, uh, thoughts, thoughts about the raffle? What are your thoughts on it? Yeah. It's it's another contest, and I'm trying to look it up real quick here right now. I thought it said uh, "Golden Pig Raffle is live now." Raffle ends. I man, I don't want to misquote this. I thought if you get this, I think you get yeah. We're raffling off a golden pig, free land parcel, mint pass. So if you can get this, you can get a piece of land too. So that's yeah. it's just crazy. They keep coming up with these cool contests to pack value into the community, into the the concept, the game, and. Man, I got nothing but good things. I, I, from the last time we had a video to now, my my bullish meter is through the roof right yeah. now, or, or should I say, my dwarvish meter? It's through the roof, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, soon to be oh, elvish. Soon oh. to be elvish. Dude, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. to, here's the—I'm obsessed with my dwarf. Now, here's the thing, man, and I, I gotta have a talk with dwarf with, with dwarf king, man, because I'll, let me tell you something, man. I'm obsessed with my dwarves. Now I'm gonna be obsessed with my elves, uh, dude. Like, come on, man, give me—you know—give me a break, man. I'm obsessed with this too much. I'm like—I can't stop looking at. Them. I'll just—I'll be sitting here minding my business. I'll randomly pull them up to start looking at them and stuff, just admiring them. Now I'm gonna have a bunch of elves to look at and battle pigs. Then we gotta breed and race. And you're giving us too much, man. You're giving us too much to work with, man. Uh, it's amazing. Like you say, man, your dwarvish meter is. Is through the roof i like that uh mine too yeah. man 
uh, again, utility, utility, utility. So, um, yeah, like I say, you know, uh, we are going to be doing weekly podcasts. We're, we're thinking weekly podcasts on this. We're going to break things down. Obviously there was a lot to talk about here. We kind of wanted to, to push through it a bit because there was so much to talk about and we don't want to like, you know, uh, we wanted to get through it all. We don't want to make this like a four hour video. We wanted to get through it all, but I think now that we're caught up, WT was gone. He was on a vacation for a week. He's back. So now we can kind of make it more like, okay, uh, we can structure it up a little bit better. I mean, not better, but we can structure it up. It's not like, so, you know, so much information to throw in at once. Um, but yeah, how was the vacation anyway, man? You know, before I forgot to even ask. It was good. And, you know, we're sitting here talking about this and just dawned on me. Like I went to this gas station when I was on vacation and I, people might not want to hear about this. I don't know. Can you see my shirt? Yeah. Bucky, dude. Bucky's. Yeah. I've, I've been to one. I was blown away yeah. at what this was. I don't know why we need a gas station like that, but we mm. have them and they're all over down South. And it was absolutely nuts. It, it didn't matter. We went to three different ones at three different times and they were packed and there's people chopping meat. There's stuff everywhere. Yeah. There's like a thousand gas pumps. There's 20 ice machines. It's I don't insane. know why you need 20 ice machines, but they have them. I went to the bathroom. There's like 40 urinals. So like they're packing value into their gas station. It reminds me of Soulcraft packing <laughs> value. So maybe Soulcraft is the Bucky's <laughs> of the Solana network. I'm I, not sure, but that's I'm what it made you. me think of. Dude, I, I went to Texas a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm from Canada, right? So I went to Texas a couple of years ago and I saw Bucky's for the first time and I was like, this is bigger than our like Walmarts. You know what I mean? It's huge. It's, it's insane. I mean, I had the same reaction. I'm like, why do you need this? Like, Literally, you could, you could do and you could do anything you want in this grocery. Anyway, um, is there anything else you want to bring up about uh, Soulcraft? Anything you want to bring about Solonite? Anything you want to bring up about anything? The dwarves, the elves, the pigs, the the future of it. Anything? Um, anything at all? Bring it up. Special uh, shout out to the community. Uh, they're really good with their memes. I mean, we're we're in several communities where they're good with their memes, but mm -hmm. man, they are they are hardcore on their memes in there, and they're making me laugh. And one in particular uh, guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rick? Was it Rich? Hold on, I don't want to put Richter E with a giant E. He he kicks out some good memes, yeah. man, and I like I like a good meme. Uh, it's good fun in the community, and uh, yeah, I I absolutely am. I'm I'm really starting to feel like I'm really delving into this community a whole lot more, and I can't wait to see where this goes. It's been absolutely great, and uh, yeah, man, yeah, I, I, whew. yeah, let's go. I'm with yeah. you on that. This I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I I love the community. Like the, I'll tell you, like you said, we're part of a few communities. This one's that you could tell. There's a you know you know the group right. There's like the group and the memes are hilarious. Uh, the crew is amazing. Um, you know from the team for to to if you have you know just looking in there, you're just new to this to, to the community or you've been there from day one. Everyone's amazing. That you know it's been really 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 fun. The memes are the best. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Um, we're very you know very I'm very honored to be an ambassador myself, and I know I'm sure I could speak for WT as well. Um, you know, very, uh, very honored to be as well. So yeah, you, you know, uh, we're in your corner as well. Uh, for you who's watching, you know, we're in your corner and, uh, I'm super excited about the project and everything to do with it. Um, again, guys on Wednesday night, this Wednesday, uh, we are going to be doing a marbles race on the stream. You're going to be able to win Solonite and stuff. So make sure you come by, you know, you don't have to buy anything. You just come in, participate in the, in the races and stuff and you'll be able to win. I'll tweet it out and we're going to, we're going to tweet out the video. Once I upload it here, we're going to tweet out the video. Again, if you want the giveaway for another for 500 uh, Sol um, Solonite, um, you're gonna have to retweet, like it, tag your tag a few friends. The rules will be there on how to do it, <clears throat> and uh, and then again for another 500 Solonite, your best dwarf joke below. Um, let's see it. I want I want to laugh. I want to laugh. So uh, your best dwarf joke. Let us know. Let us have it, and uh, and uh, you know we'll 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 pick one from there. So uh, I do want to give a massive shout out to the community, every single one of you. Um, I love getting to know you guys, and uh, you know very again, you know it's very nice to be able to talk with you guys. I'm in DMs with 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 you guys all the time, and and uh, and again, if you ever want to chat, reach out, DM us. My DMs are open. You can always reach out. I'm sure D, uh, WTs are open as well. He'll love to to chat. DM us if you have any questions. If we can answer, we will. If we can't, you know maybe we can lead you in the right direction. Uh, or if you just want to say what's up hey or you enjoy the videos whatever let us know in the comments below we're going to put our social uh, socials down below as well you know uh, follow us along and stuff so um yeah so we have a name non-fungible cast i like it it's clean we're going to get a logo made wt final words again let's go Come all on. right we out of here you beauties i love you and we'll see you next week we're out peace